Hi friends, I am Sunil working as BSNL JE. Welcome to BSNL JE 2016 exam preparation. In this video, I am going to discuss electrical part in specialization. Electrical parts in uh, topics in specialization. Coming to the topic power control devices and circuits power control devices and circuits power control devices what are the power control devices the devices which are used to control the power which are used to control the power are called power control devices power control devices the major power control devices are nothing but thyristor families thyristor family devices and also power diodes power mosfets power igbts okay but thyristors are most important power control devices okay actually the diode or power diode diode is a uncontrolled device diode is a uncontrolled device we cannot control the output by using the diodes uh, to overcome this to overcome this control devices are developed controlled devices are developed to overcome the uncontrolled property so the uh, these control devices are nothing but thyristors nothing but thyristors coming to the thyristor thyristor is a controlled device thyristor is a controlled device where the instant of conduction can be controlled thyristor is a controlled device where the instant of conduction can be controlled after applying a applying the forward voltage after applying the forward voltage or gate signal or gate signal or firing signal gate signal or firing signal that is uh, if the input is likewise likewise we can control the instant of conduction that is uh, we can control the instant of conduction uh, if we want conduction from here we can control from this uh, we can get the output if we want control if we want control the instant is here then we can give the clock pulse here then the output is becomes like this okay that's the way we can control every instance this point or this point this point this point this point any point we can control from that point to we can get the output we can get the output that means uh, major uh, next one major important devices in thyristor family major important devices in thyristor family C is nothing but scrs scr scr means silicon controlled rectifier silicon controlled rectifier coming to this scr scr is a three terminal three junction four layer device three terminal anode cathode gate it is a three terminal device and three junctions j1 j2 j3 and four layer pn pn structure these four layers so scr is a three terminal three junction four layer device this is the scr it is a anode it is cathode and it is a gate signal and anode and cathodes are connected to the main source connected through the connected to the main source through a load connected through a main source to through a load and uh, this gate terminal this gate terminal carries a low level gates current low level gate current gate current in the direction gate to in the direction gate to cathode in the direction gate to cathode okay the three terminals are anode cathode and gate and scr is a solid state equivalent of thyretron it is a solid solid state equivalent of thyretron tube it is a solid state equivalent of thyretron and the anode cathodes are connected to the main source through a load and gate terminals carries a low level gate current in the direction gate to the cathode in the direction gate to the cathode okay coming to characteristics of scr characteristics of scr 
static anode cathode characteristics of SCR. Static anode cathode characteristics of SCR. Here this is SCR and this is the signal given to the gate. This is the signal given to the gate. Given to the gate. This is the characteristics of SCR. Static anode cathode characteristics of SCR. Uh, coming to these characteristics as voltage as giving supply voltage increases as supply voltage increases up to up to one point up to one point there is no increase in current that means very small leakage current is occurs very small leakage current is occurs and at this point the point uh, the conductor uh, the scr starts the conduction scr starts the conduction the point the SCR is starts the condition that point or the that corresponding voltage is called forward break over voltage VBO forward break over voltage the voltage at which SCR starts conducting is forward breaking forward break over voltage forward break over voltage and this region is called forward conduction region forward conduction region here the, uh, up to this point a small leakage current flows this region is called forward leakage region forward leakage region or forward blocking region this region is called forward blocking region forward blocking region and we can also uh, for this uh, SCRs if we give the gate signal here if we give the gate signal here then the SCR will conduct, starts conducting, starts conducting and gives the output and gives the output. Now if we apply gate signal here, for this corresponding voltage, it starts the conducting and gives the output. If we have given gate signal is here, then it starts conducting and uh, gives the output. That means it can con the SCR it can be controlled at the instant which we have given the gate signal. So that means it is a controlled device. We can control the instant of conduction. If we give the um, gate signal here, it will conduct from here. If we give the gate signal here, it will conduct from here. In this way, uh, the SCR starts conducting. SCR starts conducting. In the reverse bias and we, that means if we give a negative supply in this case where uh, up to VBR up to VBR that means voltage uh, reverse break over voltage reverse up to reverse break over voltage there is a small leakage current flows there is a small leakage current flows after this uh, after this it is break over and then will uh, starts conducting and then it will starts conducting this region is called reverse blocking region this region is called reverse blocking region and this is region called reverse conduction region and the current here is reverse leakage current reverse leakage current and what is IH and IL means it is IL IL means latching current, latching current that means it is a minimum current required to turn on the thyristor. It is a minimum current required to turn on the thyristor. Here the thyristor will be turned on, turn on the thyristor. And IH means it is the minimum current below which, below which the thyristor is turned off, below which the thyristor is turned off. That means after IL the SCR starts conduction below the IH transistor uh, the uh, thyristor is turned off thyristor is nothing but SCR SCR will be turned off ok coming to VBO is a uh, forward break over voltage VBR is a reverse break over voltage IG IG is nothing but gate current by using this gate current we can control the SCR SCR that means we can con control the conduction of SCR IL means latching current, IH means holding current, latching current is minimum current to turn on the thyristor, IH is uh, minimum current below which the thyristor will be turned off, okay, very very important, 
very very important once again without giving any gate signal that means the switch is open condition and without any gate signal when whenever the voltage reaches forward break over voltage the thyristor starts conducting the thyristor starts conducting that means v vbo is very high very high without gate signal without gate signal we have to apply very large voltage to start the conduction if we apply the gate signal if we apply the gate signal here we require very less voltage to start the conduction if we give here the gate signal it requires some other some voltage higher than this uh, voltage to start the conduction that means here this is the ig3 this is ig2 this is ig1 so ig3 is greater than ig2 is greater uh, greater than ig1 okay and coming to the states forward blocking state in this 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 region is called forward blocking region this region is called forward conduction region this region is called reverse blocking region coming to the first region forward blocking region in this forward blocking region uh, the junctions j1 and j3 are forward biased j1 and j3 are forward biased and j2 is reverse biased and j2 is reverse biased that means uh, a very small leakage current exist in the j2 region very a very small leakage current exist in the j2 region so the very small leakage current flows through the flows up to vbo so this region is called forward blocking region the current is called forward leakage current forward leakage current and next one forward conduction region forward conduction region in this region without any gate signal whenever the voltage reaches to vbo forward break over voltage it starts the conduction it starts the conduction that means j1 j2 j3 this j1 j2 j3 all are forward biased and then cr starts the conduction okay next reverse blocking region reverse blocking region in this region uh, whenever the negative voltage reaches voltage break over voltage break over voltage then it breaks it breaks the region it breaks the it break it breaks the um, and whenever uh, the negative voltage up, uh, increases to break over voltage it starts the conduction it starts the conduction this region is called reverse blocking region the current is called reverse leakage current reverse leakage current that is forward conduction state in this forward conduction state the voltage across the anode and cathode is increased to vbo then g1 g2 g3 are forward bias and conduction starts that is switching on of the thyristor that is switching on of the thyristor next latching current it is a minimum value of anode current which scr must attain during the turn on process to maintain the conduction even when the gate signal is removed even when the gate signal is removed is called latching current or it is simply says it is a minimum value of current to turn on the thyristor holding current it is a minimum value of anode current below which it must fall for turning off of the thyristor that means simply it is a minimum value of current below which the thyristor will be turned off and the relation between it is very 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 important the relation between latching current and holding current is latching current is greater than the holding current it is uh, mm, an average uh, il is approximately equal to 2.5 times of ih 2.5 times of IH reverse blocking state J1 J3 are reverse biased and J2 is forward biased and then the reverse voltage is very high and it is a break over occurs and SCR starts the conducting SCR starts the conducting next dynamic or switching characteristics dynamic or switching characteristics 
this is the delay time this is delay time this is rise time this is rise time this is settling time this is spread time or settling time spread time coming to the delay time the delay time the delay time it is a time delay time this is the delay time the time between the instant at which gate current ig becomes ig reaches 90% ig reaches 90% or ia ia reaches 0.1 that means 10% the time between the instant at which gate current reaches 90% and ia reaches 10% that time is called delay time the time is called delay time and rise time rise time is tr tr that means it is uh, the time required for anode to from 10% to 10% ia to 90% ia the 10% ia to 90% ia this is called rise time and spread time that is nothing but ts spread time this is from here to here from here to here ia reaches from 90% to 100% 90% to final value 90% to final value and turn on time turn on time is td plus tr plus ts td plus tr plus ts and uh, device turn on time turn off time device turn off time that is nothing but tq very very important device turn off time time required by the scr for its turn off process time required by scr for its turn off process and what is circuit turn off time circuit turn off time is nothing but tc it is time allotted by the circuit it is time required by the scr means device circuit means total circuit allotted by the total circuit to the device for its turn off process to its turn off process and always tc is greater than tq tc is greater than tq and the thyristors with slow turn off time thyristors with slow turn off times are called converter grade scrs very very important converter grade scrs there are slow turn off time thyristor with fast turn off time are inverter grade the scrs inverter grade scrs inverter grade scrs okay friends thank you in next video i will explain remaining topics